This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. When you're diving into After Effects and you see all the effects within the menus, it can be quite overwhelming. So in this video, I want to talk about five effects in this video that are going to help you enhance your workflow and help you produce amazing work with just five quick effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is one of those really nice videos that you're gonna be able to use these effects on pretty much a lot of your projects. They're very interchangeable and can all work together. So in this video, I'm gonna describe each five of these effects working together and we're gonna build out an awesome composition. So we're gonna take you know, a normal title sequence and we're gonna enhance it with five effects and these effects can be applied to also footage and for a lot of different projects. So let's go ahead and jump into our video and let's get started. So here we are in After Effects and we have our title composition and that's simply all we want to do here. But if we want to go to the next level, we can apply these five effects that can be used in a ton of different situations interchangeably. So the first thing, let's talk about the background here. It is a plain, simple background. But if we want to spruce up the background really quick, we can apply one of my favorite effects, which is under effect, generate and it's called gradient ramp this is a very common effect you'll use but it can take a little bit of understanding to make it look great so we'll come here to ramp shape and we'll set this to a radial ramp then we'll come here to the start of color which is our black right here and we can come here to the y value and bring this to the center of our composition like so then we can start changing our color so we'll come here to our first color palette and we can do like a very you know dark blue there then we come to our second color palette and we can just grab the eyedropper tool select our previous color Click on the second color and we can make this even darker. As you can see here, we kind of have a very abrupt gradient, but if I come here to the second Y value for ender ramp and bring this point down, you can see there's a point right here. I could bring this down. It starts to be able to reveal that gradient a lot more. And one thing I would do is increase this ramp scatter so you can get rid of any banding. And if you see banding on YouTube, it's just because of the compression. So this is the gradient background and this is the regular background. So there's clearly a nice difference. So next up is a very subtle effect, but makes a huge difference, especially when working with motion graphics and even compositing VFX on top of footage, and that's applying noise. And you see that everything here is just flat. It's all one solid color. It's almost like graphic design. But, but one thing we can do to make this a little bit more aesthetic is we go up to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we'll rename this to Noise. Then we'll go up to Effect, Noise and Grain, and we're going to add Noise. I use this effect all the time and I'm gonna set the noise amount up to maybe 7% it might be very subtle to see this on YouTube but now there's actually a little bit more character to this scene and this helps breaks up the perfection of our scene here and just adds a lot more character and even if you work with video you know video has a lot of noise in it it definitely helps to have a little bit noise in your motion graphics you might not have to go up to 7% but I really think this adds a nice aesthetic value to our composition so next part on the list is adding an aesthetic blur to the scene by using the camera lens blur effect now, we'll create a new adjustment layer here. We'll call it Blur. So let's, and let's go up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and let's add Camera Lens Blur. This effect is great for so many things, and this is my favorite blur effect. So I like using the Camera Lens Blur effect to reveal scenes on and reveal them off. And what's great about this effect is its bokeh capability. So I threw some particles in there just to show you. And if you take a look at our particles, you can see that we get more of these bokeh icons here. And you can also change the shape of this, and you can also increase the roundness. You know, perhaps what we can do here is you know set our blur radius to 33 and add a keyframe for blur radius at the beginning and then you know go to some point where you want to take off the blur and set it to zero and here is our camera lens blur you can see that the bokeh really stands out when it's blurred out and it's just beautiful it works great when there's like a lot of contrast in the scene and especially if you're into filming video man uh, you're gonna love this effect of course make sure to check on repeat edge pixels to get rid of anything around the edges that are going through and just for a quick comparison, this is camera lens blur and this is Gaussian blur. You see, you don't get the same results from any other blur compared to the camera lens blur. Before we jump further into our video, I want to talk about Envato Elements. You know what I dislike as a content producer? Having to spend hundreds of dollars a month to purchase stock footage, music for my videos, After Effects templates, and graphic design templates for my business. With Envato Elements, I can save a ton of money for my business by spending only $16.50 a month where I can download unlimited music, After Effects templates, stock footage, and so much more for my business needs. If you want to learn how you can save countless time and money, be sure to check our links in the video description, which will take you over to Envato Elements. So following up, we have our last two effects that will work together to create an awesome glitch effect. And now I use this effect all the time, but I don't always go through it in my tutorials. I usually just add it for style points. So I'm going to show you how to create a glitch effect with two effects. 
we'll do is go up here to layer new solid and we'll call this fractal and we'll click OK then we'll go to effect noise and grain and we're gonna add fractal noise and we'll come here to fractal type we'll set this to max and we'll come here to noise type and we'll set this to block then we'll increase the contrast to about 300 or so and then decrease the brightness to about negative 150 then we'll open up the transform uncheck uniform scaling and we can increase the scale width to over a little bit over a thousand and we get this and we can decrease the height by a touch nice now what we'll do here is come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll open up the evolution options and we'll add a keyframe for a random seed and we'll move forward to you know six seconds or to end of our composition and we'll set this up the random seed maybe to 10 to 20 and of course how large that number is going to determine how fast these will move you can see so this means we're gonna have a very moderate speed of glitches and that's totally fine then what we'll do here is grab our fractal layer go to layer pre-compose and we'll rename it to map and move all attributes into new composition all right we'll turn this off then we'll go to layer new adjustment layer and this will be our fifth effect th that will finish off the glitch and now we'll go to effect distort and we're gonna add displacement map set our displacement map layer to map and we see here now we're starting to get glitches and we can increase the max horizontal displacement by a little bit and also the vertical and you can see we can really glitch this out and if the background's tearing up by a little bit you can of course check on wrap pixels around and depending on the background you might just need to go to that layer and scale it up so it's just a quick way to experiment with that here is what we have and it definitely helps to bring up the value of the composition and of course you can easily control the glitch effect you know this is a little bit over the top but even very subtly for the displacement at six it looks very nice and just adds a lot more value to our composition so those are five effects that will make a huge difference for your after effects projects if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials like this every single week you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creative